What's up guys, it's your boy, the Millennial Health Coach, and today we're gonna be talking about how to make a workout plan. You know, it's about to be summertime, you wanna kinda get your workout game in, but you just don't know what to do. Let me help you out. We're gonna go over it in five simple steps. So step number one, have a goal in mind. So this means if you are wanting to lose fat, you know, gain some muscle, get stronger, you're gonna have to have a goal before you can just make a workout plan. You're gonna be making a workout plan for nothing if you don't have anything in mind to reach. The main thing I tell people to do to have a goal is, you know, let's say you wanna get, you know, lose weight, right? You're like, oh, I wanna lose weight, I wanna lose 10 pounds. Well, I like to say this because, you know, I made that video last week about how it's not really that good to rely on the scale. You check up right here. What I tell people to do is to take a picture. Progress pictures are golden. Like, I mean, look at this. <laughs> it was crazy. So that was back in 2011. Now granted, it is seven years later, but I get to see the progress I've made over those seven years. And guess what? My weights only fluctuate maybe five to eight pounds. And that, I mean, that's a pretty significant difference in looks wise compared to actually seeing what I see on the scale. Step number two, plan out your week. I want you to be realistic with yourself, right? Now you could say all the time, well, I'm gonna work out five to six days out of the week. I'm gonna run in the morning, I'm gonna go to class in the afternoon, I'm gonna do two a days. Cut that out. Let's be honest with ourselves. On average, we're as busy working professionals out there that we probably only have maybe three to four days out of the week to work out. Now I personally, I do work out around four to five days a week, but there's some busy weeks where honestly, I'm just at least hitting the gym three times a week. I'm being serious, three times a week. Then you have to decide if you wanna work out in the morning or at night. And this is a big decision because a lot of people really think that you have to wake up in the morning and work out. That's just not, if you're not a morning person, don't do it. I work at 5.30 in the morning because of the fact that I am a morning person. I can't wake up and go work out, but there's some times where I just stay up too late making YouTube videos like I'm doing tonight. Next thing you know, I'm tired. I'll just work out in that evening if I miss the morning workout. Figure out what your time clock is. Do you Are you more energetic and have more energy in the morning and you like to start off your day strong or do you like to finish your day off strong after work, you're full of energy, you're mostly full of food and you wanna go out after it or if you're one of those lucky people you can do it during lunch step number three do you actually have to figure out what type of exercises you're gonna do for your workout plan now I know different people have the different bro splits like you know you're gonna do chest day back day arm day leg day shoulder day pinky day toe day whatever how many days that they're gonna be they have a di different day different hour for a different workout or they might just do cardio every single day don't do that you have to have variety right so my recommendation is to do at least two to three Three days of some type of weight or resistance training and then two days of cardio so that puts you around four to five days of working out the best thing to do is full body workouts it's the best bang for your buck and you can also just get a lot more done in a lot less time look we're busy working professionals we got things to do we got places to be there are gonna be five movements that you want to choose from when you make your workout and they're gonna be the push the pull the squat the hip hinge and the single leg movement. If you can include everything in that, then you'll be good. Now I'll give you a quick example of what this might look like. So for the push, you would have the push up or the shoulder press. For the pull, you would either have the row or a pull up. And then third for the squat, you could just squat. For the hip hinge, you could do either a hip thrust or any type of deadlift form. And for the single leg, you can either do the step up or a lunge. So choose an exercise out of those five movements and you'll be set. And in fact, I'll actually make a, another YouTube video going over exactly which exercises you can do. I feel like that might be a little bit helpful for you. If you think it does, go ahead and you know put in the comment box, yeah, please do an exercise video. For the cardio, you have a lot of different ranges. You have anything from running on the treadmill, elliptical, not a big fan of the elliptical, Cool. Cycling, rowing, um, anything that's got to basically high intensity, you got to be running the whole time, or you got to be moving, you know, your heart's getting taxed throughout the entire movement, entire exercise. So step number four, once you have the exercises down, the next thing you have to do is the reps and sets. Like you have the exercises, but if you don't know exactly how many of these exercises you're going to do, you got to be lost. So for the reps, I like to separate it into three categories. You have your strength category, you have your muscle category, and then you have your endurance category. So, and just to give a little bit of background, strength, of course, is the amount of force that you're able to press out. And then for the muscle mass, and this is not being bulky, looking like the Hulk, none of that. Building muscle just means building that tone in those arms. That's, that's what exactly what it means. It's just building some muscle 
under that fat. And then the endurance is when you're trying to kind of keep up your endurance or you want to kind of cut a little bit. You basically want to cut that fat, but you know, just trim it down so you can see the muscle that you've been building underneath. So sometimes I like to tell people, I go through all three, mostly between the muscle building and the endurance because that kind of gives me that lean tone look. But sometimes I'll do some strength training because in order to get mass, you do have to stretch your muscles out a little bit more. So for the strength category, you want to be sticking between one to five reps, right? And the reason being is because you'll be lifting a ton of weight. So you're going to have to make sure that you're not doing too many reps of that so you don't get injured. So, and also the fact that you are doing a lot heavier weights and a lot less reps, you want to give yourself enough time in between your sets. So this on average, you want to maybe give yourself between two to three minutes. For the muscle building, you want to stick between six to 12 reps. Now this is the really good hypertrophy phase where you're actually like, you know, building muscle and really taxing those muscles to their highest amount. The rest time for this is gonna be on average around 60 seconds. And then last, gotta be the endurance. This is gonna be your 12 to 15 rep range. You're also keeping your, your, you know, your rest times really, really low. So these are gonna be between 30 to 45 seconds, really taxing your, your heart and getting you, getting your endurance up. It's called endurance for a reason. So for cardio, the way that I like to kind of represent it is in intervals. Everybody's heard of the high intensity interval training. So that hit training and it's a really good form because again we don't have that much time in the gym we're busy so you want to make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck so what you got to do is you got to do three things you can either do one to three ratio one to two ratio or one to one ratio and let me break that down for you so that means that basically you'll be going super high intensity 100 percent for one minute and then for three minutes you're going to be going at maybe like a 50 to 60 percent or like a jog if you're on a treadmill and then the same thing going down one minute to two minutes and then one minute to one minute I sometimes get real aggressive and do like 30 seconds 30 seconds you were talking about fat burning that will get you fat burning real quick right, in number five the fifth step to creating your own workout plan is to track your workouts and adjust every six to eight weeks now the best thing that I like to use to track is an app called JE fit you can find it on the Apple Store or the Android Google Play Store I've been literally using that thing since like 2011 when I was in high school and I still look back at the old things what I've lifted and it's great because you can see the history you can put progress photos in there you can it's actually also a community where you can get friends that you can meet it is a very very useful app for tracking your workouts it gives you like little diagrams and shows you how to do the extra actual exercises as well as text as well it is awesome definitely recommend and also the second part of it is you also want to make sure that you're adjusting your workouts every six to eight weeks because your body does adjust to your workouts that's why like when you're working out for like a whole month and a half you're like oh I'm not seeing results anymore it's because of the fact that you are you know your body has adjusted it's like I got this you know you're not gonna challenge me no more and it's got a plateau this is where you switch it up, whether you're switching up the sets, the reps, maybe you're switching up one of those goals at the beginning. So maybe instead of doing endurance, you're like, I just want to switch it over to strength. That's going to just switch your body and like, what? Your body's like, what is going on? And once your body's like that, that's when it grows and that's when it changes for that next step. So those are the five steps to creating your own workout plan. One, make sure you're creating a goal for yourself, something that you can reach. And then two, you want to make sure you plan out exactly what days you are going to work out, whether it's going to be a weight day or a cardio day or a rest day. And then number three, you're going to actually choose the exercises between the push, pull, hip hinge, squat, single leg. You got to choose between those type of exercises and then put them together, you know, make a little Tetris of your workout. And then four, you're gonna choose the appropriate rep range based off of what exactly that you're trying to achieve. And remember, you don't have to get stuck in that one rep range. You can kind of switch it up based off of, you know, how you're feeling, but ideally you wanna stick to those rep ranges. And then five, you wanna make sure that you are tracking your workouts and you're adjusting every six to eight weeks. So now you have all the tools you need to make your own workout plan. I hope this video was super helpful for you. If it was, Go ahead and put helpful in the comment box. Subscribe if you haven't already. And then also make sure you put that bell button because if you don't, you're not going to see the latest videos that come out. And I put out at least two videos every single week that answer your health questions, bust fitness myths, and we'll be ready to go. You already know. Embrace the hype.